Ladies and gentlemen, today today is a is a special day because a little bit ago I mentioned that I wanted to do these these more long form videos of me just making a big project and just showing my process um, and just showing you guys my workflow and just making something with you um, and and saying a couple of things I'm doing here and there so you guys get the uh, idea. And I'm really excited about this, and that's what we're doing today. So hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8, 2A, once again. Um, and I didn't start this video by saying, so you wanna, so let me do that now, because I know people are gonna be upset. So, you wanna watch me make a, a video longer than 10 minutes? Well, you've come to the right place, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's get started. Uh, and I kind of think... I don't know. I'm kind of. It's kind of a toss up. I'm not sure. I I want to do a little bit of a scene, a magical scene, I guess. Um, and I want to do some modeling, a little bit of stuff. And I'm not sure if I want to do Link from The Legend of Zelda or I want to do Batman. And those are two completely different things. And I don't know which one we're gonna do. So we're just gonna start modeling, and then I guess I'll just see once we're you know there. Um, so let's do it. Uh, I want to. We're gonna use Default Cube today. He's excited. This is a big project. We're using Default Cube. I'm going to just uh, subdivide this a little bit so we have a more roundish kind of shape going on. Um, and three is probably good for now. Maybe I might even do two. I might do a low poly. Ooh, let's do a low poly. Ooh, we might do that. Okay, let's do this instead. I'm sorry, Default Cube. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to do... Do I want to do... Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do We'll do a low poly render for now. And we'll use Default Cube. All right, cool. So it's going to be our head. Um, and I'm just going to kind of get a little bit of a ang oop, an angle set up for right now so it's not just a round head um, something like that it's fine for now and I want I don't want to hit apply on this yet and and do like this because I don't really want to do that right now so we'll just we'll just save that for later um, now for a body I I really kind of want to stick with the low poly vibe we have here and I because I really like low poly and we don't do it enough so that's what we're going to do today we're going to do some low poly stuff and um, I'm using multiple different shapes here instead of using like one giant shape and just extruding from it because I just think it's much better to to get used to when modeling things and when doing things I just think it's uh, a lot easier um, to keep control of everything rather than have everything be together so you can have different objects merge together um, later on you can merge them together later on if you really want to but for now we can keep everything separate so I'm just uh, extruding some things and scaling them with the S uh, button here and I I think I want to have them be a little more round than this and like I said I still don't know if I'm, I'm doing Link or Batman yet but <laughs> we'll see um, and I'm just gonna loop cut this and kind of give him some more um, some more width here because he's kind of boxy now he looks like an upside down diamond with the tip cut off that's fine whatever um, <laughs> we'll just we'll just do something like this we'll grab all four of these uh, scale nope scale Z zero perfect and I mm, mm, do something like this instead yeah okay I enjoy that I enjoy this body. That's nice. That's a nice body. What do you guys think? I think that's a nice body. Uh, moving on. I do not want to get caught up doing one thing too long. Because I know a lot of times when you're modeling, I get... I don't know if... Uh, I'm sure a lot of artists do this. But a lot of the times when I'm modeling something, this is incorrect. I want to fix it. Um, real quick, let me sidetrack from what I was just saying. So, you see here how... Um, I have a bunch of vertices and this whole line that goes down. So these vertices here all kind of go through smooth and then come out on the other side smooth. Um, and this, this, these lines over here, the same exact thing. Now this line up here, this one going down, doesn't go into anything. And this is a modeling issue. This is gonna, this is gonna cause problems for us later on when we're doing things, when we're subdividing. It's gonna give us maybe a little bit of glitching in some areas, and that's not good. So you always want to make sure your vertices connect instead of having a giant space like this. Because right now, this vertice, this face right here, this face of this triangle, has one, two, three, four different vertices, but it. It doesn't have a line connecting each one so it's very strange we're gonna have to fix that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and grab these faces hit uh, X and then delete only faces and then now we can go ahead and fix this up manually so I'm gonna go back to vertices select mode and then just grab uh, these vertices so everyone that's across from each other by holding down shift and hitting F 
to create a face. So now we're going to do like this, which is nice. Now with that line selected still, I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to right click, then hit subdivide. Now we have a vertice in the middle, which is what we need. Now I can go out from every different direction, hit F to create a face, just like this. And now we have the four different quadrants like we had before. But instead of stopping there, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this. So F for face there, F for face there, F for face there, and there. Now we can go ahead and then select uh, each one of these pieces of pizza and then just uh, hit F to oops, hit F to create a face with all of these three. So this vertice, that one, and that one, over and over again until we have the entire fan worked out. It's called a triangle fan, by the way. Um, until we have the entire thing worked out, which is much easier to do, much better to do than deal with the way that we had it because it's going to cause problems later on. And up here, same exact thing. But what I'm going to do is because I don't like the way this top is coming out, I'm just going to go ahead and actually erase all of this. And we're going to... Only oops, or hit B to box select and just get rid of all that stuff. We don't need it. I want to kind of make this a cylinder instead. So I don't like the way that was going. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, extrude this upwards like uh, this. Yeah, I think that's better. I think that's better. And then hit E. Uh, sorry, sorry, hit uh, uh, E. We're going to do the same thing that we just did there, but I want this to be flat instead. So, um, oh, you know what? We'll, you know what we'll do? We'll just mirror this. That's perfect. We'll mirror this. All right, cool. That's just too much because I don't want to do all that right now anyway. Um, mirror, then we'll go, is it Z? Yeah, and then we got to move it like so perfectly. And clipping, make sure that's on. So it uh, locks on right there. And then we just do something like that. And just stretch it up. Perfect. Cool. Um, so yes, I think at this point... I don't still know if I want to do Batman or Link. Um, what was I talking about earlier? I don't remember what I was trying to say earlier. I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to merge this mirror modifier. Um, do I want to put that backwards like this? Yeah, yeah, I think I do want to do this. All right, cool. And then I'll just grab all of this and then uh, rotate it down like that. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do Link. I think we're going to do Link. Yeah. Let's do Link. Um, we'll do Batman later because I have a really cool pose idea for Link right now. And I don't really have one for Batman. And I don't want to mess Batman's up because Batman's an awesome character. Link is too. But um, there's so many different possibilities you could do with, uh, with bats. So let's do this. All right. Let's move all this up here. Move all this up here. And I'm going to go ahead and just add in another cube. We're going to make his legs here. Uh, and I want this to be kind of cute. And this torso is not very cute. So we're going to smoosh it. We're going to smoosh it a little bit. And like this. Now, the thing about modeling is... And I'm doing this, by the way. I'm purposely doing this without having a concept or an idea um, in my head. I'm kind of just going... Because this is the way I like doing it. Because I feel more free when I'm able to do it this way instead of going, oh, hey, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, this is the pose I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is everything I'm going to do. And you know what? I did this leg, and I really want this everything to be square. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, no. I want everything to be square now. Okay, well, <laughs> look what we've done. <laughs> look what we've done, guys. Okay, so just real quick, let me just... <laughs> this is what happens. This is why when I make tutorials, I always set the tutorials because I want to make sure I know <laughs> exactly what I'm doing. But for this, I don't have to worry about that because I want to kind of get in that free kind of state of mind. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to break these in half because I want to be able to bend here. And I don't want to rig this because that's just that's too much. Uh, I want this to be nice and nice and simple thing today. No rigging today. We're just doing a scene, We're not doing a rig. So I'm just going to break it like that. A little bit of gap in between there. Maybe something like uh, some Nintendo characters. A little bit of gap in between. Their, their ligaments. <laughs> and their bones. Cool. Alright. Now, do I want this to be flush with this with this piece? I think I might. Um, but I want this leg to be shorter. Because I want to I bend the leg too. So, like this. And then... Oh, I shouldn't have extruded the... Okay, that's fine. We'll just do this. Uh, Yoop. And you can see what I did here with the torso is I made it so that it bends at the bottom half because I know that's where torsos and stuff bends. So 
I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the foot here, so with the leg here, rather, sorry. So I'm going to select everything, just move it up. Uh, and like I said, this isn't like a step-by-step -step like most of my tutorials are. This is just for my process, because a lot of you guys ask me how I go about doing things, and uh, I can't really give you a good idea of how I do do things. Do <laughs> I can't really give you a good idea of how I do do things, because... Um, when I'm making tutorials, I'm trying to, you know, go as slow as I can, make sure I fully explain all the stuff that I'm doing, and it tends to, um, it tends to take much longer than when I do something in, uh, my, my spare time. So, um, now this leg needs to bend to the top and not at the bottom. There we go. And the same thing with the foot. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. So there we go. That's our first leg there. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and just grab this this leg. And I'm not going to duplicate it. Never mind. I'm not going to duplicate that because I want to do the materials and stuff first. And I don't want to deal with that until we do. So um, with the head, I want to grab some ears. So I'm gonna, I usually do the arms uh, next, but I really want to do ears for some reason right now. So I'm going to do some ears. Just going to use default cube and just scale them. Actually, this isn't default cube. This is fake default cube. This is an imposter. Um, now Link has uh, elf ears because he's an elf. Um, or wait, no, he doesn't. Well, he does in some version. He doesn't always have elf ears, actually. So I'm going to give Link elf ears today. He doesn't always have elf ears. If I look back, there's a couple of instances where I don't remember him with elf ears, which is kind of weird. Um, but that's fine. We're just going to do something like that. That's fine. Cool. Uh, and I don't want this to be connected because I like that kind of separated look but I want it to be a little bit more even than what it's being here so you could actually go ahead and measure this but I'm not gonna do that because you're most likely not gonna see it from whatever pose I'm doing in the first place um, and the small things like that don't necessarily matter because let's face it nothing in life is perfect anyway so to try and get something perfect in this because that makes it more realistic it doesn't make it more realistic so a lot of people are like you gotta measure it you gotta do this you gotta measure it. it's not right yeah most things built in life aren't right nothing anyone has ever built is perfectly symmetrical even when uh construction guys use uh rulers and and measuring tape and all that stuff it's never perfect i mean the measuring tape isn't perfect you know it's not going to be, there's no such thing as exact, so we can just get it as, as close as uh, as humanly possible and uh, make sure that it looks good. That's the most important part, is just making sure that it looks good. So, I'm liking this a lot. I want to go ahead and do the arm. Uh, I shouldn't have done the ear. Yeah, never mind. My bad. Uh, only do one side. If you're doing something, only do one side of it because what, what's going to happen is you're going to have to do twice as much of the work, which is not fun. Um, so, I'm going to try and see if I can line this up a little bit. Uh, zoom in as far as you can. You could get a really pretty, might as well just be exactly accurate thing because it's so close. Um, it might as well just be exact. Uh, yes, I'm enjoying this. This is, it's kind of looking a little like, a little Minecrafty, but it's fine. Um, I'm going to just move the arm down a little bit and then we'll duplicate this arm, move it down here. Perfect. I think that arm's a nice length. What do you think? I think so. Cool. Um, sweet. Now, I do think we are ready to do some materials. Now, we don't have every detail here. We don't have all this stuff. But what I do want to do is I want to be able to make sure I can duplicate these over. So what's going to happen is I'm going to grab this arm here. We're going to go to material mode. I'm going to grab this arm, and we're going to split it in two. So I want my, my colors to be very precise and very crisp. So I'm going to grab a loop cut, just move it up about right there. And we're just going to select all, oops, nope. we're going to select all of these faces um, so all of these bad boys here, and we can actually go ahead and most likely hide some of this other stuff so it's not in the way, but, um, we'll get to that. So, um, hold down shift, of course, select multiple different things. I I'm so used to saying everything, I'm still saying everything when I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> We're gonna make a new material, I'm just gonna call this, um, uh, uh, green shirt. I'm gonna call it shirt, and then we'll do green, because there's gonna be multiple different colors here. Um, let's do underscore green i've been trying to get in the idea of doing underscores or or dashes or something because it just looks better to me um when you're doing stuff like this oh no let's not do that all right so we have to add another one i forget i forget this much uh skin tone of link like he's kind of he's kind of he's kind of a little little pinky red right i guess he has a nice little a nice little color to him i guess um and i'm gonna go ahead and assign the green which is not green yet uh, cause I didn't, ah, oh, dang it. Well, we'll just do this. We'll sign the green and he always has like a, a deep ish green, depending on what type of link it is. And I'm going to go for a deeper, darker link 
color palette, something like that. Assign, hit Alt, uh, Control I. Sorry, I always do that. Control I to invert, then assign that. Nope. Then assign assign that skin tone. And we're gonna do skin um, main because I'm gonna do other ones, uh, other colors here. So I wanna get rid of all the subsurf, all the roughness on all of the materials. I don't want any shiny shines. Um, yeah. So that looks pretty good. I like that. And then we'll just give this entire thing the skin main. I want to make his arm shorter. It's too long. Yes, cool. Now, we have the ability. He usually has long sleeves, doesn't he? But in some games, he has, like, no sleeves at all. It's kind of, like, cut off. Anyway, um, we're going to duplicate this now. Uh, we can do this a couple different ways. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift-D, right-click to cancel that, open this up, and we can just grab one of them and just change the negative on the X to positive and the negative on this X to positive as well. So now we have that, which looks good. I'm going to parent these uh, singly because I don't like doing them uh, together and then duplicating afterwards. I want to do them, I want to duplicate them and then parent them. So I'm going to grab the main arm, hold on shift, grab this arm, control P, object, and now we move this one. Nope, I did that wrong. Backwards. It's, it was backwards, It wasn't it? We're going to grab this arm and then we're going to grab this arm. Whatever one is the last arm is the one that's going to be... It, that's it that it is everything is parented to the last thing you select so um, make sure the one that's yellow is selected last uh, the make sure the one that's yellow is the one you want to be the the main one so control P object now we rotate this everything moves with it same thing with this control P boom now we got some arms that work properly sweet cool stuff awesome uh, now same thing with the legs down here I want to get the, the material down for this so we're gonna do it for the top we're gonna do uh, green here and actually wait no he doesn't have green legs he usually has like gray legs or, or brown legs I'm gonna go for um, I'm gonna do gray I'm gonna do gray which is kind of like Wind Waker if I if I remember his pants are gray and Wind Waker so we'll go a little bit of uh, gray with a little bit of blue in there and then for the leg do the same thing uh, let's call this um, pants uh, not plants. What I just typed in plants, guys. Pants. Um, and then we're gonna do boots here because he has he usually has pretty big boots on. So I'm gonna loop cut that, move it on up to the side. And then we're gonna go ahead and just select, oop, select all of these pieces. Um, all this, all this, all this, all this. Yep, yep. Cool. And then we're gonna add, and we're gonna, oop, no, add new. And we're just gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna just drop the skin tone color down so actually wait no let's not do that let's do let's do this instead I want to do like something like that and then specular none uh, it, too saturated a little bit there we go that's fine and then we got to turn the specular off of the pants as well that's too dark now that we've done that so you don't want to get fooled Specular can fool you a lot, so you don't want to get fooled. Sometimes it's too dark when you when you release it, when you get rid of the specular. Um, there we go. There we go. Cool. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that. Now we're going to do details and stuff on his legs. Um, and we're... Oh, you know what? Oh, I was supposed to do that on his arms, too. Let's do that on, let's do that on arms, too. Um, I was supposed to do some details here. So I want to do... I don't want it to be this, this, this plain. This is too plain for me. So I want to do maybe a sleeve like this. And then we will, let me actually go ahead and hide the rest of this stuff because it is in the way now. Um, hit H to hide. Uh, that too, might as well. And this, and this, just why not everything? All right, cool. So, period. Um, and then we can select all these pieces. And I want this to be like a bit of a darker green. So we're going to kind of go crazy with this because it's a very simplistic mesh because it's just a, it's just a cube. Um, so we're going to try and get this as crazy as I really want it to be. Um, darker, more bluish. Yes. No specular, no roughness. Uh, too saturated now. Cool. And then I want to maybe do a little bit of subdivision here, maybe. But you see, I don't... Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do like this. We'll have maybe... What is that? That's going to be four every single time. Um, let's do five instead. Let's do five cuts... Five is my favorite number. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that either. Let's do six. I'm trying to get down. Yes, let's do six. Let's do six. All right, cool. Um, so I, I didn't want anyone to be hanging off the edge, but I'm going to go every other um, piece here is going to be uh, another even darker material. 
So this is going to be another green color. Uh, none of that. A sign, and we're going to just do something like this. Not too dark. Not too saturated. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. That looks cool. Um, and then maybe I want to do another. Oh no, not six. What am I doing? I forgot to put that back. And then we're just do something like this. And then I'm gonna have this be a lighter color because I know. Let me just do this the easy way. So we'll go and turn overlays. Uh, sorry, X-ray on. And then we'll just beat a box. Select all those. Perfect. Uh, and then I'll just go ahead and create another green. This would be a lighter, lighter green. Um, not like that though. Maybe a little bit of yellow because that's lighter colors. I need to go to the left. Yes, I enjoy that. Uh, maybe we'll pull the top vertices up a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe a little bit smaller. All right, cool. I enjoy that. That's nice. Um, now, I do want to do maybe something else. I'm not sure. Hmm. What can we do to Link's arm here? I want to add in maybe a loop cut, uh, two loop cuts right here. Yeah. And then we'll turn that off. Uh, and then we will go ahead and grab uh, these three, uh, maybe these six. No, those those three. We'll grab those three, and then I will make that also the lighter color, and then I'll put the darker color in between. Maybe. I don't know. I don't like that. Never mind. Forget it. All right, cool. I'm just trying to overdo now. So you know, you know, you got to know when to stop. We did a little bit of detail on this arm. That's good enough for me. That's all we need to do. So. Um, Sweet. We can actually get rid of all of these. Like earlier, I said we're going to have issues with modeling and stuff by um, having vertices like, um, if I dissolve these, um, vertices like this where they kind of just stop. But in this instance, it, uh, it'll most likely be fine because we're not rigging. But you just want to keep in mind that you don't want to do this if you're going to be rigging something, if you're going to be moving the individual vertices. But since this is moving all together like Minecraft, we can probably get away with doing this, saving some vertices. Um, and, uh, and just, just kind of getting over it a little bit because we don't really need them. I only did that just so we can get the vertices down for um, for all of these cuts we were making. So we don't really need these to all be like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and just um, limit to dissolve all of them because we don't need them. And the same thing with the top here as well. Beat a box select and just oop, limit to dissolve them. Cool. Sweet. Now, that looks good. We also don't need this in here either, to be honest with you. We can get rid of the, no, these. Boom. Limited dissolve. There we go. We only needed that just for this stripe. This single stripe, just so I can get those different colors in there. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, just super quick. But yeah, so. All right, we can unhide everything by hitting Alt-H. Now we got a little bit more detail in there. That's much better than it was previously. Now on his legs, I do want to do some of this as well. So we will... Um, loop cut maybe let's do six again they look kind of good yeah we'll do six in that direction six in this direction six in that direction um, cool um, now uh, I think I want to go and do some stripes like this actually so I mean, actually we don't need those other edges we only need it like this we only need it like this only need it like this cool uh, so we'll just do something like this that's nice we'll grab all every other one of them we'll give them like kind of striped pants I guess pants again uh, we'll hit this little button right there change this to pants underscore darker I gotta rename those other ones because I didn't I keep forgetting um, oh, a sign there we go we got a little bit of stripies stripies and then on this we will kind of have to take a little bit of a liberty here because we're not gonna be able to get this the exact same width we'll just have to pretend half of it's under his boot that is fine with me or i can just move his boot down to be honest with you let's do that instead because that's going to bug me that's going to bug me so we'll just hit b move it down that's approximately the same does not to be perfect like i said um and this one will be the gray one the darker gray one rather sorry um nip 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 there we go cool all right uh i think that is we're good. I think we're good to go. Um, I do want to do the boot as well. Let's do the boot real quick. And on, for the boot, I want to have a lace. So let's actually do a plane. Let's move this over here because we're going to do a little bit of modeling again. So hit period. 
I'm just gonna scale this down a little bit, and I want to do something kind of special for this. So hit seven to go to the front, uh, the top facing view. Sorry, um, and we're just gonna kind of move this around a little bit, um, something like this. I want it to kind of be like a lace. So we're gonna do a lace right now. That's what we're gonna do. Um, move these around, and now this might be. What does a lace look like? What's wrong with me? Wait a minute, I'm forgetting. And these little bow tie. That's what we need, right? A little bow tie. Uh, eat, nope. E to extrude. We we'll just pull it out. And I'm just gonna do one loop, and then we're just gonna duplicate it because we don't need to do both of them because that's gonna take too much time. Um, but yeah, so we'll just move this out like that, and then we'll kind of just pull it back up around. E, 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 and something like this is good with me and then we'll just hit uh hold down control grab both of those hit f to create a face for both of them there we go now we got a nice little loop looks good we could have also done this with a circle but i really like how random this looks so uh, i'm not i'm not about that i'm not about that <laughs> we're gonna hit e to extrude this again scale it down a little bit e to extrude scale it up a little bit so we got that little nick in there and then we'll just do something like this. And this is kind of nice, right? Sweet. Something like that. Yeah. That's nice. I think I like that. And then maybe it's not slanted enough. Like that. Kind of looks like a. Kind of looks like scissors. <laughs> One half of scissors. Uh, then we're hit. Uh, we're gonna add the, the modifiers first. So modifier, reduce, solidify, solidify, solidify. There it is. Uh, thickness, turn the thickness up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go negative with this instead. And then we'll hit Shift D. Um, just nope. That looks like a shuriken now. Wow, that was weird. Um, uh, R Y 180. There we go. And I kind of wanna. Maybe do something like this where they loop through each other, actually, instead. Oh, no, that's going to be too much. We're going to have to just let it be the way that it is and kind of just offset it a little bit like this. And that's kind of that's kind of cute, I guess, right? Um, we'll just... Something like... No, it's better before. That's fine with me. I like that. That looks decent. All right, cool. Um, very strange laces, but I like that. It looks nice, and we'll put that on his boot here. Just something really small as a detail. Perfect. Uh, three to go in the side view. Just kind of move it back like that, rotate a little bit. I don't want this touching, of course, once again, just like we just did with everything else. Uh, sweet. Cool. Now I can go ahead and parent these to the, the boot by selecting the boot last. Control P, object 2, parent. Um, and I know we're going to duplicate this, and I said I don't like doing the parent before, but it's probably fine this time because this part isn't going to really be moving. Um, and I want this to be the same color as the boot, but just a little bit darker. So we'll do um, lace. Yeah, why not? And then we'll just grab this one. Lace. Perfect. Um, and then we'll just name this one right over here. Might as well. Just boots. Cool. And might as well name... I don't think I named any of these. Nope. This is... Um, green. Just let's just do call it what it is instead of calling it the body part. Uh, green, darker, <laughs> and then green, light. Sweet. All right. Um, now I do think that looks fine. I want to do the bottom of his feet as well, actually, and that's gonna be that because I missed that the first time. Uh, and I want to inset this, I to inset, and we'll just grab Boots Darker, and, I uh, sorry, we'll Boots Darker, we'll grab Lace, and then just make that the Lace color, so it's a little bit darker, maybe a little bit darker, I think I want the Laces darker anyway, so yeah, like that, cool, um, and now the, the sole, his sole of his foot is darker, which is cool, we're probably not going to see that in this pose, but it's fine, uh, and then we'll just uh, grab all this stuff and duplicate it on over, so Shift D, um, and then just uh, select each one by one, negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive. Oh, nope, 
Oh, that's right. Okay, it moves with it. That's right. What's wrong with me? Um, it's going to move with it. That's why I don't like doing the parenting afterwards. So let's do this, actually. So let's undo this parent. That's why I don't like doing it. This is the exact example because, I, right, as you can see right now, if I were to leave these, it still thinks the location is negative 3, as, as negative 0.3, but it's not. This is positive 0.3, but we didn't move them. They're parented, so it only, it, it only believes that it's still there, and I don't enjoy doing it that way. So let's do this like this, the proper way. That's why I don't like doing this. So shift D negative uh shift d oh shift d sorry uh negative shift d i'm gonna do it again yeah negative there we go now why is this like th oh that's because the center is not okay see oh ladies and gentlemen the center of the point has to be the center where you want the object to be merged be mirrored to so i'm gonna go ahead and hit, hit and just move it over just a little bit just move it over that's fine i'm okay it's fine it's good it's all good it's gonna be all okay i'm not aware i'm not upset it's fine it's cool uh yep yep perfect now they're too close that's great wonderful times i'm having here <laughs> we're just gonna hit uh that's fine yeah that's fine and then we're just going to unparent this because it's still parented uh, yeah, alt P, alt P is clear parent, then uh, shift D for both of these, then we can do the negative, there we go, and the negative, cool, now, wait a minute, why, why, why are you being this way, fine, we'll just do it by hand, it's fine, okay, there we go, cool, uh, move it like that instead, it's closer to the edges on the other side, alright, cool, uh, now, maybe I want to parent these now, so, parent, parent, and I don't believe I parented these yet, nope, did not, so we'll parent these two, so the legs now move together, nope, legs now move together, there we go, that bends, that bends, that bends, sweet, sweet stuff, guys, awesome, all right, uh, we got the legs. We don't have the arms anymore, so let's do that real quick. Shift D. Uh, clear parent. There we go. And we're going to do negative. Nope, that's the wrong one. Knew I was going to do that the first time out. <laughs> negative. And then I believe this is probably the wrong one, too. Nope, it's fine. Uh, all right. Nope, that is the... Oh, my God. Okay. All right, now. All right. Now, I think... Yeah, that's the right one. Okay. Whew, that's why I don't like parenting things before I mirror them. I told you. This is the reason why. I had a perfect, great reason why I told you. This it is perfectly is perfectly showing itself. Okay. Um, let's do the ear next, because I want to get that done. Um, now, we're going to do the same skin tone here, skin main, and I'm going to go ahead and make a second skin color for this right here. So, I to inset that little piece, and then we're going to actually inset this a little bit by hitting E to extrude, maybe hitting S to scale it down a little bit, and I'm going to select all these pieces here. We're just going to make this a darker skin tone color, something like this. Oh, wait, no, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Uh, plus skin main that there we go that's what i want to do skin dark yeah let's do that and then i'm I probably gonna have a darker one so i don't want to make it skin darker so assign there we go a little bit more red in there perfect and then maybe another skin tone like i said e to extrude in inset sorry and something like this plus uh skin dark that button skin dark er drop it down a little bit more a little bit look nope that's not what i want to do a little bit more red assign there we go a little bit something like that all right i enjoy that sweet uh now is that the same color skin as the main over here it looks kind of desaturated no, it's the same. All right. Uh, cool. Now, what does this look like with real color instead of filmic uh, standard? That's fine still. It's kind of harsh, but uh, we aren't going for that today, so I'll leave it on filmic. Uh, maybe I won't. Ooh, maybe I won't. Yeah, no, we'll leave it on this for now. That looks fine. 
All right, cool. Next, earring, because Link has earrings. Um, we're going to do cube. Yeah, we're going to do cube. Uh, what I'm going to do is, this is super easy. I'm going to move it over here. So, GX. Then hit, uh, G, we're going to scale it down first. So, S, 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 X. And then we'll just scale it to the approximate size of thickness that I want the earring to be. About like that, I guess. Hit uh, Shift D. Hit S to scale it in a little bit. S Y to scale it out. Yeah, and we'll do something like this. Now I'm going to. I can never remember, what, remember which way around this is, to be honest with you. So I'm going to do it like this. And I'm going to call this. What is this? Cube 13. All right, Cube 13. This is why you should name things, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. All right, so that was the right way around. Uh, always the object you want to cut first, and then the object you want to cut with for the Boolean tool. I'm just going to scale this down. That is a really cool looking earring. Uh, near the lobe needs to be a little bigger that's fine and that's a kind of a big earring for link but we'll, we'll, we'll let it slide we'll let it slide for today okay and then I'm going to move it down so it pivots right there instead there we go move it out and down not that rotated maybe like this yeah that's nice. I like that. I like that. That's cool. That's pretty uh, pretty neat, actually. Wow. All right, sweet. So that's cool with me. Let's actually. I think he has one up here too. Um, in some versions of some games. Um. Let's do that. Let's do that too. So on one of these ears, he'll have double earrings, which is kind of weird, but it's fine. Uh, like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's that's cool. And then we'll just make sure it's not clipping anything like it is right now. Maybe a little bit smaller. Um, yeah. All right. That's cool. Yay. All right. I enjoy. I enjoy. Okay. So uh, with these, both of these, I want to make a new color. This is going to be gold. And then we're just going to make it, you guessed it, gold. Uh, yeah, wait, subsurf, did I turn subsurf off of all the other ones too? I did not, uh, sub subsurf, uh, specular, huh, I'm gonna have to go back and check them all, no, that's fine, we did it, all right, cool, uh, I want this gold to be a little bit more goldy, a little bit more goldy, that's fine with me, and the same thing for this one up here, this one, uh, we will also use gold, Perfect. This is awesome. Now, I'm only going to grab the, this one on the bottom because I don't want to have both, double earrings on both ears because that's going to look really weird. So, we're going to hit Shift D. And, and this is going to be tricky because I I can't do it the same way. So, this is what we're going to do for this. We can't just mirror this because it's going to flip it. Um, so, what I'm going to do is we can do this a couple ways. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, mirror this with uh, the modifier because if I mirror it with the modifier, then it will work properly. Um, and we're going to mirror this over top of this cube. So I'm going to grab, that's just regular cube one. Um, so instead of mirroring over itself, I'm going to go mirror object cube. Now it's mirrored over top of the cube. So it's perfect. Um, then I'm going to hit apply. But the problem is, is now they're together and I, I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit um, shift D to duplicate them. Then I'll, on one of the ears, I'm going to select everything by hitting this right here. And then hitting B to box select and delete uh, vertices. Then I'm going to grab the other ear. Uh, then I'm going to grab the other ear, which is this one, and then B to box select vertices. Now they are separated ears, but the issue is the pivot point for this one is still way over there. So we can go object. Actually, we can just probably move it ourselves, but we're going to do object set origin to. Nope, nope, not that way around. Uh, set origin to geometry. Now it's all set to go. Now I do want this to be in the center of the. Nope, nope. I want this to be on this piece right there so that's what we're gonna do and I do want to make sure it's in the same the same up and down <laughs> I don't want it to be oh you know we I know what actually we'll leave it because the other one's not like that either we're not gonna be rotating his ears so we'll leave it we'll leave it in the center because this one's in the center I thought that one was off to the left but it's fine we'll leave it we can just duplicate this one regular the earring regular and then just move it over ourselves because I'm talented like that I don't need no mirrors. I don't need no mirrors, boy. I'm going to move this 
like that scale it up a little bit maybe maybe two different size earrings i don't know what link's wearing and there we go cool um maybe a little bit smaller yeah all right that looks cool sweet i do believe the usually has double earrings on the left ear but i don't care it doesn't matter all right for his torso this is going to be the difficult part not as difficult as the head though so let's do this first um I want to do some more texturing and more materializing. So we're going to go first off, we're going to go with the regular green, which is down here. Um, and then we're going to cut this in half. Do, 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 do. Cut it in half, move it down. And I want to make this piece all gray. Um, turn that off. So this is kind of like his pants starting, I guess. Um, or you know what we'll do? His pants usually go underneath like he usually has a shirt that's longer than his pants so let's not do that let's make this uh green dark a sign and then oh i missed that one you always miss something make sure you don't miss anything because it's gonna look really really strange like that did um and i want to i don't think i want to do much else on the bottom half the top half is going to be where most of like the design is done i guess huh Whew, excuse me um you know what we're gonna do is yeah, let's move on to the top because I think actually, you know what? I want to I want to make a secondary line here. So let's make another line there, and then we'll make this darker. Make the bottom one darker, darker. Uh, I was about to miss that one again. Same side, same side. I feel bad. I'm neglecting that side. All right, looks good. I enjoy that. Now this top side, this is going to be the issue. So I'm going to hide the head. Hit H. I'm going to hide the arms. Because they're in my way. I see the bottom ones can probably stay. No, just get rid of them. Who cares? All right. Now, we are going to do some cool stuff with this. So, first off, I'm going to loop cut uh, twice the center. So, we have a definite neckline there. So, I'm going to put one in the center as well. And this is going to be links. Nope. Nope, not that. I'm going to do that as well. And there, and pull it forward. And this is going to be links. Um, neck and area like this. So uh, let's do let's make the whole thing green, and then I'll just assign the secondary colors. So skin main assign. There we go. I like that. And then for we can actually once again limit to dissolve these. That makes this is painful doing this, but no, no, it's painful doing this because I don't like those vertices being having missing edges because I just explained why that's a bad thing. But like I said, we're not going to be moving these. They're not. It's not a. It's not a rig, so we're not going to be bending them. It's fine. Uh, it really is painful, though. I gotta say, um, I can't do that with the front because we have more vertices to do. Um, so let's grab loop cut. It's now. It's now we're only going to loop cut the front, which is which is nice at the same time. So loop cut, and I do want a kind of rim around the neck here. So approximately the same length on every side. There we go. Uh, about right there. And then on the we're doing the middle, I guess. Um, off on the off on the side, off on this side a little bit. We will do maybe something like a button right there. So I know you guys can't tell what I'm doing for it right now, but just give me a second and I'll, and I'll explain it. And we're going to do a little, uh, a big line right here because I want his torso to be having a, uh, no, we, we won't do that. I'll leave that alone. All right, cool. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, on this front side, oop, no, on this front side, I want to have a, no, stop, a button right here. So it's going to be a button. This is going to be uh, the same color as pants. So a sign. Now that ties into down there. Actually, maybe it might be a little bit lighter. Let's do button it will be a different color gray because that's too dark so button a little less blue as well yeah that's fine um and then we'll do this stripe right here I'm, i want this stripe to stop so we'll make another loop cut pull it down and then this will be a little bit of a line so we'll do dark assign perfect and then the same thing with these this would be dark assign. Now, Link's shirts 
usually pretty much always look the same. They have some kind of nice design on it. Um, and I do kind of want to do something like that, but I know that it's going to be kind of strange and it might take up a little bit too much time, but I want to try. So what we're going to do is we're going to just loop cut some stuff in here just so we can get some pixels so we can do a little bit of pixel art inside of his shirt here. So this is going to be kind of fun. Uh, only one to do on this side, I believe. So we'll just cut this side up to all heck. Oh, man. This should be interesting. Um, and this one, too. And that actually, that's not the correct. Hmm. That's not the correct um, dimensions. It's going to be bigger. Is it not? No, that's the same size, I believe. What am I, what am I on about? That's the same size. All right, cool. Um, now, for the pixel arts, what do I want to do? I think I want to do... Maybe we'll do a full line up here. A full line down here. I'm just holding down shift and selecting pixels, by the way. And we'll do maybe a circle. Uh, and maybe an, an, a thing that looks like this. Um, then a dash kind of thing like that. Maybe this is some kind of writing on his shirt. I don't know what the heck. But I just want it to kind of look cool. And Hyrule-esque. So that looks pretty good. I really enjoy that. Uh, I've said that a lot in this video. Anyway, uh, assign all that. That looks pretty neat. I don't like this. All of that needs to go. So this really is like pixel art. It's pretty sweet. Um, assign. And then we'll do this assign. Yeah. I think that's fine the way that it is. And then we'll do on this side every other line like that. Uh, sign. And I don't enjoy how this is off center. So we'll do that again. We'll do a different design over here. So we'll do 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then skip 2 in the middle. All right. No. All right. There we go. Uh, sweet. Yeah. Okay, um, I think I don't like this button, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this go all the way up. <laughs> this is how things change depending on what you're doing. I'm going to select all of this. Green, green, nope, I missed. Green, there we go. Um, and then this will be just like, hmm, do like this. Yeah, all right. Assign again. I keep missing that. Alrighty. So, I think that looks really nice. I like it. I do. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I want to really do something else before I limit to dissolve these. And I think that's good the way that it is. I'm going to limit to dissolve this. I'm going to limit to dissolve these. Because this is just way too much stuff going on here. Um, I'm also going to do these down here. Nope. Stop it. Don't do that to me. Uh, limit to dissolve, and we could probably limit to dissolve like this stuff and stuff like this, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do like that. I'm not gonna do all that. Okay, I enjoy that. I like, I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, now I do not really like how this is just stopping. So what I'm gonna do is, can I? I'm gonna see if I can do something like this. So I'm gonna cut from this vertice to this one. And hit enter to confirm that. Then cut from this one to this one. Enter to confirm that. And then we can assign those. Um, nope, stop. Assign those the darker green color. Yes. Awesome. Cool. That is a really easy way to do that. I enjoy it. Um, Alt H to unhide everything. I'm going to grab his head and do the head real quick. Now, this is going to be the semi-fun part and semi-hard part. So, it's going to be skin main. Then we're going to... I kind of want to do 3D features. So let's do his eyebrows because his eyebrows are usually pretty crazy. Um, I don't know why Nintendo depicts his eyebrows so insane usually. Like, I mean, the mo the most of his, you know, facial features are pretty, like, pretty uh, uh, tame and, and pretty, like, primped, actually. But, like, this, his eyebrows are usually, like, insanely huge. Um, which I don't mind because my eyebrows are pretty big. But... That's not the point of my conversation. <laughs> we're going to do something like this. And actually, I think I might want to get even more advanced with this. And we're going to add in some loopy cuts here. So one there, one there, one there. And then we're going to raise them 
and I'm going to have to cut in between them, but that's fine. So we'll raise that, we'll raise that, and we'll raise that. And then I'll cut them between these and pull the edges back so it looks like they're sharper. I know you guys probably don't get what I'm saying, but I'll show you right now. Um, so loop cut in between all those. Then grab this, pull it like that. Grab this one, pull it back like that. This one, pull it back like that. This one, pull it back like that. Um, awesome. Now I do want to make sure this is on the same line, and it is not because I didn't do it like a smart person. So I'm going to now fix it by, uh, by x-raying. Grabbing all these, S, uh, Y, 0, B, S, Y, 0. Perfect. Uh, there we go. Now his eyebrows are looking funky fresh. And S, X, and uh, move it back over. G, X, sorry, not S, X. Uh, we, we'll leave it like this. We'll leave it like that. I think I want to move that one over, maybe. Uh, no, we'll leave it. We'll leave it like this. I'm getting, I'm getting picky now, guys. I'm getting picky now. I do want to move maybe some of this up though. Turn X-ray off. X-ray off. Um, yeah, something like just kind of arcing it a little bit and getting some of these lines to go the way that I really want them to. Um, a lot of the times when you're modeling, it's best to just do everything by hand. A lot of people will go, oh, you can do it like this, you can do it like that. You can do it with the, um, with the uh, proportional editing. You can do it with this, you can do it with that. And that is usually a great way to get things to be too perfect. I don't really want this that perfect. I kind of want to get in here and do something like this. Pull down some areas so that the eyebrow is not uh, exactly perfect everywhere. So I'm going to kind of... Maybe thin it out in the in the end here. Pull it in. Something like that. Nope, not that way. S X G X. All right, cool. There's an eyebrow right there. There's links. One of Link's eyebrows. I mean, we, you guessed it. We are going to use the same. Uh, actually, we might need the same gold color. We might make a different color. This might, this color might be hair. Right now, he looks old because this, this is gray. But don't worry, we'll fix that in a second. Um, new, and then we'll make this like a insanely yellowy yellow, not too saturated though. There we go. I like it. I like it. Cool. Now, um, I'm going to do the same thing with this other eyebrow. We're going to. I don't want any detail on this eyebrow, so we're just going to leave it and hit Shift D R Z 180. Uh, RZ 180, sorry. And then we're just going to hit the mirror on there. Cool. Um, now I can parent these, but yeah, let's parent them. Let's parent them. Hold on, shift, grab all that, parent. And now I can just rotate them the way that I want. Maybe, maybe they're not both the same rotation. I don't know. We'll do with that. We'll do with that later after I do his eyes. Um, now this should all move. Yep. Yeah, and we might as well do the ears as well. Hold on, shift, grab all those ears and ear rings. Uh, parent to actually wait no not that I not that I want to parent the rings to the ears first and then we will parent the ears to the head so that's the better way to do it cool control P for that as well by the way like I mentioned um, awesome so now we have a head and that looks good and I want to grab this piece and I want to be able to move everything so let's do that real quick I'll grab all the arms the legs and the head then the torso top torso last control P parent and then now oh, I missed that one didn't I wait a minute that one should have already been parented that's weird oh wait no you know what I want to do instead that's a good that was a good sign so I want to do the bottom one instead so we'll do like this and then that one last P parent and then this one's not parented either all right and then it also has to be parented to that so that it can bend properly, but it's not because this is parented to that one. So let's undo the, this. The head has to be parented to the top torso and everything else has to be parented to this. So we're going to parent the head to this top torso. Now that moves with that. Perfect. The arms also have to be parented to this top torso. So they move like that. And then the top torso has to be parented to the bottom torso. There we go. Genius. There we go. That's how you do it right there. Okay. And then now if I move this, I want the legs to be parented to the bottom. Actually, wait, we can't do that. Because if I do that, then he's not going to be able to bend like this. So 
what I'm going to do is really quickly, hmm, how can we do this? Because if I, like I said, if I parent this to this, then when we rotate, it's going to rotate the legs and I don't want that. So we're going to have to parent these to something else. And I'm going to just, I didn't want to do this. I really did not want to do this, but I'm going to make, I don't want to do anything with rigged. I don't want to do anything with an armature. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what we'll do? We'll do something cheesy. Well, not cheesy. Cool. This is cool to me. Um, let's move all of Link up. So, move everything up. Basically, until it's on the red line. Because I don't want to have him floating. Maybe just a little bit. There we go. Now, this uh, plane we just added. I'm going to hit I to inset it very slightly. Then hit uh, delete faces. Now, we have this nice little ring here. And this ring is not going to be um, visible because it's going to be invisible. I'm going to make a material. It's going to be transparent. And now if we go to rendered um, viewport shading, I'm going to turn it to, I think white's fine. And then just turn transparency black into be black. Or it's just not going to work. Oh, because we need to do, which one is it? Uh... Uh, it's one of them. There we go. It's, it is white. Okay, so it needs to be on white, and these, we don't need these. Uh, it needs to be on white, and it needs to be on oh any of them. See, I was right the first time. It is white. So alpha clip. We'll just do alpha clip. It's fine. So that doesn't, it doesn't render, but I can still see it. This is a really easy and quick way to do a kind of a rig without even making one. Really cool stuff. I'm going to grab this um, uh, this inside here. I, this is too thin. I made it kind of thin. But this is too thin, so do like that instead. I want to be able to grab it when I want, you know. So might as well just might as well just do like that. I didn't want it to be a whole. You know what? That's so silly. Let me just. <laughs> that's so silly. Why did I do that? I might as well just make it the entire. Dang it! Might as well just make it the entire plane. Who cares? All right. Uh, and then it's invisible, so you can't see it, but I can still click it. All right. Cool. Um, now I'm gonna parent everything to this so i'm going to select the legs this piece and then the plane control parent now everything moves with this but i can still rotate which is nice and the legs move separately all right cool that was a lot i hate relationship lines so i'm going to turn them off boom done um now back to the task at hand we i want some of this i want some uh, ambient occlusion. So let's do that. Let's bump that off. Oh, look at that. Much better. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, so much better. That was what it was. This is what we got now. So much better. All right. We should have done that a long time ago. I'm put it on three. Um, sweet. Uh, we don't need bloom right now. Uh, cool. Now, what do I want to do next? The eyes. Let's do the eyes next. Now, how do I want to do the eyes? I want to do the eyes on his face instead of being 3D. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to loop cut there, and then we'll do two loop cuts here on the side and two loop cuts on the side right there. You probably get what we're going to do here. I want to, instead of doing it like this, I want to mirror this because I don't want to do it twice. Uh, never be able to get the same way, and we will select half of the head, turn that on, uh, no, on, and then grab all that. Vertice. And we will mirror modifier. Perfect. Perfect. Select select all of this. Nope. That's not what I want to do. Nope. Stop doing that. Oh, I hate when he does this. You know what? Fine. I'll do it like that. Uh, and then this over here. Perfect. Scale it up a little bit. So this is going to be his eye section right here. And then we will loop cut the bottom. Move it down. I did two. Oh, that's fine. I need two anyway. Uh, we'll make sure the first vertices are up in his eyebrow so you can't tell where they are. I'm going to turn x-ray off because I don't need it anymore. It's bugging me. Um, grab it right there. Wireframe. That's fine. It doesn't have to be straight up and down, straight across because it um, cause we can't see it inside of his eyebrow. So that's fine. And then this, we'll move it down. And I want, I believe it to be like, maybe like this, very slightly slanted, just slightly. 
Um, all right, cool. So then this piece, this middle piece, is going to be his eye. It's a bit of a serious look today. And then we'll hit new. This will be solid white. Yes. Um, nice. We got some eyeage going on here. Uh, and then inside of his eye, I'm going to do a pupil. So hit I to uh, inset. And then we'll just uh, hit S to scale it down a little bit. And then we will kind of form fit that piece down. And then this will be blue because his eyes are blue. Very bright blue. Uh, like that. Assign. And yeah, that's better. And then I inset again. And then we will do a pupil. Uh, something like that. And then I kind of want to make this a little less harsh. So this will be black 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 um black 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 that was the zelda sound all right cool um all right did i make that not flush it's not flush dang it oh okay okay that's fine we'll just select everything all of this crud all this crud dun 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 oh wait no i'm not gonna push it back you select everything and then hit like I did earlier, S Y zero. Um, you can see that's kind of pushed out his face, but that's fine because I'm just going to select the entire thing um, and then hit S Y zero. What did I do? Oh, I have the sides as well. Uh, I don't want the sides or the back. Uh, yeah, I think I only the, the the front. Yeah, only the front is pushed out a little bit. Okay, cool. So with the front selected, S Y zero. Now it's flush, flush and flat again. Uh, cool. Now for his pupils, I'm going to turn everything off the way that I did before, but I'm probably going to turn, um, some of this specular stuff back on for some specific materials, but for the time being, we're just going to leave it all off. I want his pupils to be smaller because it looks kind of weird. Um, something like that. Maybe that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. His eyes are a little too blue now, so I'll change them from like a teal to more bluish. A little desaturated. All right, that's cool. I think this green is too green now, so um, I don't enjoy it. I wanted the green to be a little bit lighter. And then by comparison, the rest of these had to be also pulled up, which is kind of a bummer, but that's fine. Um, this one, green darker too. All right, that is much better. I think this he's too like blondish blonde, so I'm going to make this more yellowy golden as well. Not exactly like the earrings, though. Okay, that's a much better color. I like that. Now, for his mouth, do I want to go flush or do I want to not go flush? Let's decide. Um, I think I'm going to do a special little thing for his mouth. So, let's... I, wanna, I, wanna, I, don't, want, I don't want this mirrored. So, let's go ahead and... and, and, and uh, get rid of some of these limited dissolves that we don't need. So I'm going to limited dissolve all this because we don't need any of it. Limited dissolve and might as well just... That's His eyes are fine. Um, the sides, limited dissolve. And the back, limited dissolve. The bottom as well. Limited dissolve and the top, limited dissolve. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to apply the mirror. Boom. And then we are going to go ahead and take a look at how I want to do this mouth. Now, I think... I said I don't want it to be mirrored, but I think I might have already changed my mind. I'm going to limit to dissolve everything together. Why not? I can't limit to dissolve that, but it's fine. Um, I'm going to I to inset, since i got to do this in a weird way, because we don't have any vertices. That's fine. Uh, then I'm going to hit... Uh, 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 oh, you know what we'll do instead is I will just do... I don't really want to do that. Mm, 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 mm. See, I can't, I can't loop cut because we've limited dissolve. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to. Oop, that's no, that's not what I want. What I'm gonna have to do is grab individual lines here, subdivide them, grab these pieces, um, and then uh, erase this, dissolve the faces, and then inside of here, we can just grab. What's inside? I can't see him behind his eyebrow. I don't think there's anything in there. One right there. Perfect. Uh, grab all these. 
and mush it up to there. Um, like this, this is like I said, this is not how you're the best way to do it is because you're gonna get issues like this. But I guess this is a good way to teach you guys how to fix it, you know. So we'll do something like that, little thing right there, and then down here we are now back in business. Uh, alrighty, Roo. Uh, 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 perfect. Okay, so with these vertices, I that's white, but I'll fix that in a second. Don't worry about it. Um, now for these, we can go ahead and just fix them all back up like that. And this kind of looks like a mouth already. Um, now grab that, put it back to skin. There we go. Um, now I'm going to grab this edge and loop cut in here. And I'm going to do like this. We're just going to grab that, that little piece. And I'm going to do something like extrude it extrude a little bit right and then we will grab this vertice and this vertice and we actually I'll turn on magnet on vertex then we'll hit G just snap it there snap it there now we're gonna merge them by B to box select both of them and then we will vertice merge at first oh I missed it I I need to select both of them. I can't grab the other one. There we go. Uh, we'll just do like this. Instead, before I do that, we'll grab both of them. Merge uh, at last. Because I selected that one last. There we go. Do like this instead. It's easier than doing the, the magnet trick. So, select that one. Hold on shift. Grab that one. Merge at last. Perfect. Now, I just like a little fur blip. Which is kind of cool. And I'll just pull that up. And maybe up more. And then pull out that lip again more. So now he's got a little. <laughs> that's cute. He's got a little lip thing going on. Which is adorable. We could have did that so many different ways. I could have just put a cube in his face. And rotated it. But it's fine. Y you do things different ways sometimes. I'm going to make his lip red. Um, plus. New. We'll do something like that cool um, for a nose uh, I'm gonna do the other way like I just said instead of doing the crazy way we just did I'm gonna do a cone actually and we're going to get rid of all these vertices because we only need three of them um, and I'm going to just RX RZ 180 rotate it like that move rotate it like this move it up S to scale it down G Y S looks like a beak right now but that's fine I'll fix it Moving in his face a little bit. There we go. Grab this point in edit mode and just move it backwards. Cool. And then grab these two. Move them in because his nose is too thick. Move it up. Move it in. Pack it up. Pack it in. And we will just do like that. Cool. Now, I'm going to make this the same color as his lip because I'm going for a style here. And there we go awesome stuff uh, I don't like how tall his nose is a little more buttony because it's not cute enough there we go I enjoy that oh uh, yes uh, yes 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 maybe like that instead yeah maybe going down that's kind of nice um, pulling it out Maybe pulling it, pulling it back in, pulling it back in. <laughs> um, okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm just getting overboard. I'm going to parent this to the head. Now we move. It all moves. Cool. Look at the earrings. That looks awesome. Uh, okay, sweet. Link has looked cuter, but you know what? It's fine. Um, now, what I said earlier applies because I don't like this. And I like doing things separately, and this is the reason why. Because I can't move that good enough the way I want to. So I we can, Actually, we probably can move it. Yeah, we move it up like that, or down. He looks kind of old like that, though. Um, I can just do like this, actually. Never mind. I was going to do the entire thing again, but it's fine. I don't, I don't have to do that. Um, that's fine. He looks kind of mean in this, but maybe I can just rotate his eyebrows differently. Yeah, that makes him look better already. All right, he doesn't look as mean anymore. Okay, that's kind of cute. Doesn't really look like Link much, but, you know, we'll just grab these, pull them up, 
grab these, pull them down. There we go. Now he's surprised, Link. Now he's surprised. Look at that. All right. Okay, that's much more Link-like, I think. Link's not that mean. I mean, he 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 does have an, like an aggressive face when he's doing something, like when he's fighting, but he just looked kind of mean. All right, that's better. I think that's much better. This ver these this mesh and these polys are just all ooh. This is just so bad and messed up today. Anyway, um, we are gonna go ahead and do the hair because the hair is gonna be kind of fun, I think. Anyway, so we'll do something like this as a base, right? It looks kind of weird, like a hat. Um, and then we will kind of loop cut. I'll do six times again. Loop cut, loop cut, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull down edges of the hair here. So pull this down, pull this down into his face a little bit. Pull this down, maybe this one as well. And yeah, so this is gonna be just for the front and the sides. I don't want to really worry about. I uh, sorry, for, sorry for the front. It's gonna be for the front. I don't really want to worry about the other pieces all together. We'll do those in a separate piece. So let me grab that. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, really, we don't even really need the rest of this to be honest with you. But I'm just gonna leave it. Um, for now, we're gonna have a couple different layers of hair here, so, um, yeah, I think that looks fine, and then we'll do, it kind of sweeps, though, his hair kind of sweeps, let's just go down, it kind of sweeps across his face, so let's do that a little bit, move it, move it over a little bit, move it over, and then I'll kind of grab that, nope, grab that, there we go, and then I'll kind of loop cut this again, and then we will not maybe not six times maybe three let's do three boom and then we will just move each one of these pieces uh, to make it look like it's kind of rounded so I don't, I don't want to cover it as pupil so I just move it up a little bit and voila but it's not in the same face anymore same planes because I didn't do it properly so we'll fix that by just doing the same trick X Y, zero. Perfect. All right. Cool. So his hair sweeps a little bit there. And if I can grab this piece and move this over as well on the X axis. So I'll do that again. All right. Nice. And then we'll do the same hair material there, which is cool. This is kind of weird for right now, but all right. It doesn't worry. Don't worry about it. Um, and then we'll do another cube here for the side pieces. Um, and then I'll just... S X, hit G to move it on up here, and I want to watch out for his ear because I don't want it to cover his ear. So we'll do like this, like this. Maybe too thick, yeah. And we'll do all this in pieces, so he has like different hair pieces, which is kind of weird and kind of cool at the same time. Um, so I'll do like this and then move this piece over here and I really want to look this look this to look kind of chunky which is why I'm doing it like this I want it to feel like he has um, uh, different pieces as hair so I, I want you to be able to tell and and see kind of because we're going for that low poly look you know so I really want you to be able to tell that there's more than just uh, the one chunk of hair so there we go. That's going to also be gold. This is, no, not gold. Wait, what am I doing? That color. And this is going to be that color. Uh, once again, another chunk here. Pull this one out a little bit more, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really like that. Um, cool. That looks awesome. All right. Um, and then I'm going to do those famous strands of hair that he has. That I love so much. Uh, like this. And then we'll just do like that. That's fine. I really like the chunkiness of this. Um, move that out a little bit like that. Yes. And then maybe a little bit of a transition um, between the strand of hair and the big chunk that we have here. 
Maybe it's just something small like that. Awesome. And then we'll do the same thing over here. So I'll kind of just grab all this, shift D, move it over here. And then we'll kind of just uh, loosely mirror it. So I'll just pull that in about right there. Um, pull that in about right there. Yep. And then the same thing for all of this. So move this in up a little bit. Awesome. Um, and I think his hair stuck a little bit more than that. All right, cool. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. And then this piece, same thing, move it over. And the same thing with this hair piece as well. Awesome. So I'm just going to kind of get these rotated the way that I really want them. Um, there we go, like that. And I think we'll be able to move on to the back here. In the back, I want to do pretty similar. So I'll grab this guy, shift D, um, rotate them move them over here and then we'll just kind of scale them out scale them out and I do want to do like he has like a braided kind of warriors thing in the back of his hair sometimes uh, a little like Sokka like the warriors the warriors tail but not exactly like that so what I'm gonna do is pull it out and then we'll make another one and kind of do like layers um, like this, because that looks awesome, and then we'll do another layer, maybe even smaller, and I think I'm going to have to stop on this one, a little tiny bit of a ponytail maybe in this one, because this looks like Breath of the Wild a little bit, um, and then on this one, this will be like a little clip, so, um, what's the one I'm looking for there, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, S double tap X and then we will just kind of move this up there as like a, a little bit of a clip for his hair um, move that up a little bit maybe even like that yeah that looks cool awesome so then this will be a nice gray color so hit that little 17 uh, and then we'll make this a little gray yeah that is awesome I'm loving this. This is so cool. Um, now I'm going to have to go ahead and select each one of these pieces of hair. Make sure I don't miss any of them. And then we're going to have to parent them all to his head. Holding down shift here like a madman. And then head, object, move it. All the hair moves with it. Awesome. Very cool stuff. Okay, we got an issue though. Because I didn't realize until just now. But the head oh you know what we can do okay the, the the pivot point for the head is in the center and his neck does not rotate like that obviously so i can fix that uh, very easily uh, let me hide this so you can see what i'm doing easier um so very easily you have a little center point in the in the middle here by grabbing these two vertices right click subdivide grab this vertice only then go um what am i doing here this has been a while since i've done this one uh vertex we need to do um, snap, uh, cursor to selected, and then we will do, uh, the origin, origin two, three cursor. Perfect. Then alt H to unhide. Now we rotate his head. It rotates how his neck would. Awesome. This is so cool. Now for the final touch, my friends, I gave him the cool little clip back here. Um, and this might've been a little bit of a waste, but I want to do... A hat. I want to do his hat because it doesn't really look much like Link without the hat, you know? So, let's do a little bit of a hat. I don't want to do the full thing because that's going to cover up my clip and I really like the clip. So, let's go ahead and do something a little bit different but a lot a bit cool, hopefully. So, we'll do like this, maybe. And then we'll just extrude. Actually, maybe we'll scale it a little bit. Move it back a little tiny bit. Nope, nope. Move it back as far as we can go. Uh, and then I'll do the same thing until it's all the way back. Like, 
I might not even want to do the hat at all, to be honest with you. Let's see. I'm going to have to see because maybe I won't. Let me go ahead and actually do proportional editing for this because I want this to all kind of move together. So we'll do like this. Rotate it a little bit, maybe like that. Yes. And then E to extrude. Rotate. Pull it together. And then... Maybe, I think that looks good. I think that looks fine. Let me just pull some of these vertices out because they're in some weird angles. Proportional editing can go off now. Um, all right. I think that's going to have to do. I like the way this is turning and twisting. Um, pull this one in, maybe. Pull all of these in, rather, rather actually. All right, that one, that one. Yeah, I think that looks good. I think it looks fine. I don't like how this was sticking out. So I'm going to pull this one out instead. Pull this one inwards. Like, like this. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Too cool for school, bro. All right, uh, that's a nice little link hat, if I did see one. Uh, maybe pull this down just a little bit. Maybe it's coming out of his... Oh, yes, that's pretty neat. All right, now the moment of truth. Do I actually want to keep it like this? Because... He is just kind of like Hansel and Gretel now. I don't know. I think I like it better without the hat, but we're going to make some improvements because... I don't want to do the hair like that. I want it to be more round. If we're going to do it like that, it's too flat. So we're going to round his head up a little bit, which is fine with me. Get a lot more pieces in there now. So since we're not doing the hat, I want to do as much more detail as we can. So I'm going to just get a little bit more um, piecage going on here. And we'll just scale this, move it over there. Same thing, hit period to zoom in close so it's easy to move. And then we'll do something like this. Something like that. And then one more on top here. Very cool. And then the same thing in the front because the front is kind of bland now. So we'll just do something, something like this maybe. And you know what? I think I want to get rid of this piece altogether because I don't like how I curved the uh, the piece in the front. I don't like that. So we're going to do that again. And we're going to do this. And we're going to do it right this time instead of like the way we did it before. <laughs> um, so like this, material two. And I'm going to do that by hand because by hand's always better. I said, I said, I don't want to do it with, with, curves i like it sharper better so we're gonna do his kind of swoopy swoop bang thing with cubes instead i'm gonna rotate them but they're still gonna be cubes yeah much better i like that much better i'm gonna move his eyebrows out because they're kind of getting lost now so let's move them together there we go um and then we're gonna Move this one over here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of hair on this side. Maybe covering up that gap. I don't know. Maybe not covering it up. Uh, yeah. Maybe not that piece. All right. Cool. Like I said, this a lot of this. Like I said, this video is pretty much my process. This is a lot of processy stuff. So it's just a matter of getting it really how you want it and where you want it. Um, and how you want it to sit and then trying things. Maybe it works sometimes, maybe it doesn't. We've gotten rid of a couple of things that I've done already in, in today's video. So you can see how everything's not set in stone. So don't worry about um, trying to get it perfect when you first go in because it's going to take a couple of um, a couple of finaglings, a couple of finaglings to get it the way you truly do want it. So I'm going to select all of this and then we're going to select the head, parent. Now everything should move together. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we got Link. I think that looks pretty cool. I think that looks pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Now, I do want to maybe change a couple of the colors of a few of these pieces 
here and there and that might be kind of cool if I were to do that so plus and then new and then we'll make uh, the hair color which is this guy and then we'll just darken a little bit oh no 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 plus and then we'll do that and then apply uh, oh yeah it says we have to assign each one so we're gonna do that assign that's too orangey just gonna drop it down like that I think that's fine and then for each and every one of these we'll hit assign individually so we'll do plus and then we'll do the darker which I think is this one yes it is apply assign rather sorry um, the darker hair that one assign and I think uh, this one will do 10 assign this one plus 10 assign and I think maybe we'll do this one uh, plus 10 assign and I think that's good to go maybe this one plus 10 assign and this is too orangey so I'm going to change the color once again by uh, very slightly just yeah much better cool now I think my friends we are done um, now this is this is pretty cool I want to maybe do actually um, this one as well so we'll grab that plus 10 a sign and that's good all right cool so now everything still moves um, now awesome I'm gonna save this um, and we're gonna do link um, and instead of doing a whole scene um, I might just we'll do I don't really want to cheese it out though so we'll do a nice little portrait setting so I'll just create a little bit of thing like this um that's very close to his feet right there I zoom in a little bit get that more perfect all right cool now he's gonna be standing here um, kind of the same way that uh, my actual drawings my 2d drawings do so we're gonna do something like this and then I'll just round this uh, edge by grabbing it control B bevel scroll a bunch of times and then we will just hit shade smooth and then we'll make a new material for this we will kinda eye drop that green color specular roughness all the way off and then I'm just gonna drop or maybe brighten no nope, drop we'll drop it it's too bright that way we'll drop the green color so it's a little muted zero to go in my cameras view we'll open this up view lock camera to view and then we will just kinda get a nice little shot of link there and I don't have his pose down yet, but that's fine. We'll just rotate this so it's in the camera's view. And then, all right. So for the pose, I kind of want to have him leaning back. Then this part leaning forward. This arm going out. This arm like this. This arm going back and out a little bit like that. Maybe forward actually a little bit like this and then his head kind of going up a little bit like that and then his legs they're gonna have to be twisted a little bit because that looks unnatural and then maybe we'll have his legs bend a little bit like this and then we'll line those up on the ground like that nope 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 like this just rotating those, the top pieces. There we go. I think that looks good. And I think maybe we'll do like this instead. We'll have it puff his chest out instead. Rotate that way instead, maybe. Maybe. Eh. Maybe, maybe we'll have him twist like this. Yeah, I, that's better. And then I'll maybe move that leg out. 
like this. The pose is really key, you know? I think that looks cool. I think it looks really nice. All right, sweet. Um, and then we're going to go ahead, and I don't like his arm rotated like this. I want it rotated like this instead. And then this arm can be rotated more like that. All right, cool. Um, and I want to make a sword for him because he needs a sword. And we're going to do that over here. So make a cube, bring it over here, period. Um, we're going to do, of course, the Skyward Sword, my friends. You guessed it. Actually, we're not going to do that because that's super detailed. And I don't want to spend too much time on this video because it's already been super long. But that's fine. My process, you know. We're going to loop cut this one time. Thank you. And then we're going to move it on up to the side. Uh, like this. Perfect. Scale it in. Uh, well, no, we'll scale it up first. And then we'll hit uh, E to extrude. Then we'll scale it in like that. Perfect. Scale this in on the X. And, oh yeah, I didn't do that right. Okay, I want only, I only want to scale it on the X axis. So I don't want to scale on the Z like this. I only want to scale on the X. So do like this. Scale on the X. And then more cube. Uh, more cubage. We need more cubage. We need more cubage, Captain. Um, and then we'll just move that like in the center. Seven on my numpad. About right there. SX. S. Uh, sorry. Uh, 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 yeah, SX, I was right, SX, and then SY, what am I thinking, I don't know, guys, I've been doing this too long now, and then the SZ, move it on up like that, I'm not going to do the song again, <laughs> and we'll just do something like this, duplicate that, move it down, handle time, pizza time, and then we'll just move this bigger, Maybe thinner this way. Perfect. Bigger a little bit. And then SX, SZ, SY. A little bit of a ball for the end here. A lot of scaling and a lot of... Oof, guys, this is... Oof. All right. And I think that's going to be a little bit longer. So let's do that. Yeah. All right. So... I'm going to put the pivot point for the sword down at the bottom like this on the bottom ball handle thingy. And then we'll select everything and then that piece, control P, parent. Now everything moves to the base. Um, the blade is, of course, going to be pink. No, I'm joking. Uh, it's going to be uh, silvery like that. This piece is going to be purple because this is going to kind of represent the Skyward Sword a little bit. And then this piece is going to be yellow, because once again, a little bit Skyward Sword. And then this is going to be that same purple again. Um, specular, nope. Specular, nope. Specular, nope. Uh, cool. And then we're going to move it on over here. And then it has to scale it down a little bit. Period. Zoom in. Um, and we're going to put it in Link's hand. Just like that. Rotate it around a little bit. I'm glad I made the handle longer. And maybe which direction looks better? I think that looks good the way that is. Yeah, cool. So that's nice. We could also do a shield. Um, which why not? Let's do that real quick. I don't want to cheese it out. We'll do it. We'll do a sword. We'll do a shield, sorry. Uh, just to be super simple. We'll just scale it loop cut there in the center grab these two vertices pull it down and that's pretty much it um we're gonna we're gonna hit s d to to duplicate this pull this piece out right there and then this will be what color is his shield oh man i forget it's like is it blue on the outsides is it blue on the outsides i i oh man it's been too long what colors is she? I know he has, he's had a couple of shields before, but I'm just going to do like this. I don't think this is even close to correct. I know it's not. I know that it's not brown. It, I know this is part. This part's got to be silver, right? I'm pretty sure. I believe so. Um, and we'll just do that. That's fine. You know, I, I kind of like the brown better. And then instead of the blue, I know we're just going to do silver for the outside. That's fine. That's a regular classic shield. Who cares? 
Pretty cool stuff. Um, I want to... Do I want to kind of carve out the back? Yes, I do. So, I to inset, E to ex no, E to extrude. And then, ooh, oh, that's perfect. We'll just extrude it until we get into the, the brown. So, then that's the back of the wood. Awesome. That's perfect. Uh, control P, parent 2, grab this, move it on over. Um, well, you know what? That's stupid of me. Why did I make a second silver color? It should be the same silver color as the previous one so they match. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh... Is that it? What is, what, what is it? 12. It's material 12. Was that the same one I had it on? No, it wasn't. It was 15. All right. Uh, okay. Scale. Move it over. Now, this is going to block a lot of my artwork, guys. So, I'm going to have to do this really particularly. It's kind of a small shield, but that's fine. Um, he's not even really touching it, but maybe. Yeah. I like that. And I, I kind of want to extrude this more now. So, extrude. Uh, or maybe we'll pull it back instead of extruding it. G, double tap, Y. Yeah, I think that's better. Because I want to see... I want to see the other lip edge over here. But I don't want it to be, like, too thin. I think that looks fine. That looks great. Okay, um, specular, none of that. And that's too brown now. I read enough. All right. Now, I think this has gone on quite a bit long enough. <laughs> we have a nice little scene here. I do want to do some lighting. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, no, I know exactly what we're doing. We're doing the fairies. I have to do the fairies. I really like the, the lighting of the material mode. I think that was really nice. Um, what if I, like... I think the lighting in the material mode always looks really good. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to try and recreate some lighting from here so i'm gonna make this scene solid black um and i'm going to actually not solid black we'll do gray we'll leave it on the gray that it was about right there um and then i'm going to create a couple lamps here so a lamp here um and this will just be like a fill lamp essentially um just to kind of give him some and i don't want any shadows on this i don't want any shadows on these lights because we have ambient occlusion um for that that's helping us with that. So I don't want any any shadows. No shadows today. Um, I'm going to do a thousand. That's too way too bright. So let me ignore that. Forget that. Um, cool. Oh, and also I want to do a fake shadow. So we'll do a circle real quick. We'll do a, a circle. Um, we'll fill it with Ingon. Move it down beneath his feet. Like this. Perfect. Um, and then we'll make this black. Uh, yeah, so fake little shadow because that's awesome. Uh, just like in many, many different video games, there's a, a shadow beneath him. And I want to make it less black, so we're going to make it a little like this. We could just turn down the opacity. Uh, we could do like a transparency thing, but I'm just going to do it like this because that's cool. Um, and uh, actually, I think I might be darker than that. Yeah. All right. Cool. I think... Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'm spending too much time on silly things. Uh, point lamp. I want this to be very slightly yellow. We'll do yellow on this side. And then on this side, we'll hit Shift-D, duplicate this lamp. And we'll move it slightly behind Link here. Um, and, oop, no. Slightly behind Link off to this side. And I'll put this on a 1,000. And then this will be blue. Maybe... Maybe not blue. Maybe this one will be yellowish red, and then this one will be blue like I had before. Maybe he's going into an enchanted forest. I don't know what the heck he's doing. We'll just leave this one white so he's not, like, weirdly colored. And then this one will be, like, reddish, yellowy kind of. But I want it to be more mystical than that, so it doesn't look very mystical. So let's go with blue on this side. Let's do blue. Um, and then this will look really good because we're gonna, in a second we're going to do uh, cube. Scale it down. Rotate it to a very strange angle. Um, just because... And I'm going to do a couple pixies. Because that's Legend of Zelda, if you ever did see it. I'm going to scale... Like so. And we're actually going to do this straight through. So... S, double tap. Uh, S, double tap, X. Like that. And I think that looks awesome. Cool. 
Um, so this main part, I believe, if I remember right, this is the part that's blue. Yes, I think so. This is the blue part. I should look at this first. This is the blue part, and the wings are the white part, I think. Now, if that's wrong, I'm going to be mad, but I believe that that is correct. I don't think it's the wings are blue and the body's white. What does that look like if I do that instead? Um, white and then blue, like, no. I don't think that's it. You know what we'll do? I'll just, I'll, I'll leave it like this, and then I'll just make multiple different ones. So we'll do something like this. I want that to be brighter. All right, cool. And then we'll... Oop, no, 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 no. Don't you do that. Don't you do it. Uh, Shift-D, duplicate that. Double tap R. Move one over here. Um, make it a little bit smaller, maybe. Duplicate again. Another one. Looking over here. Rotate, scale. And then another one right here, maybe. A little, a little Firefly pixie thingies. Cool. Cool. Um, yes. And this is just a bunch of rotating and trying to get them the way that you want them. I really enjoyed that, so I'm going to do that. I want this to be more blue. Even though I do remember, I think they're more, like, bright than that. So, yeah, yeah, maybe even. Ooh. Yeah, maybe we'll do that and then we'll make the white less bright. Maybe we'll make the white brighter and then have the blue be less or maybe we'll just do like this. I don't know. You know, it's that's the whole thing, okay? No judging, all right? You don't ever know. It's art. You don't know what you're going to do. So let's just do some stuff until you find something you like, you know? All right. I think that looks cool. Um, I want to do more lighting stuff. So this point lamp right here is too much. I want it to be more dim than that, and I then I want to grab a light right here, put that on his face, kind of bright like, and then we will, on this side, we'll move this blue closer, and probably more behind him, like this, that's cooler, and then maybe I will make this background solid black, ooh, maybe not solid black, but blacker. Like this. And then I want to go for a big fill light. So this will be the most of the bulk of the light from all different directions. So can I get away with a thousand? A thousand is, might be too bright. Yeah. Do 500. Yeah. Okay. So I think that, that ties together. And then we'll maybe do this one as like a slightly, slightly blue, slightly yellow. Yeah. Maybe something like that. That's random. You know what? I just really... Because we don't have the... Because I don't have shadows and stuff. It's making this one look better still. But I like the I like the lighting that we have here. So what I'm going to do is... Let me real quick, actually. Let's do um, uh, some camera depth of field. So I want to do that. I know. So depth of field. Uh, F-stop. We'll turn it down a little bit. Turn the focus about right there. Looks good. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Nice. Okay. Um, maybe I, maybe I don't. Oh, you know what we'll do is I'll just, okay. I know, I know, I know, I know what we'll do. We'll just grab some pixies here and then move them way back here. Is that depth of field lead? Let's, ooh, let me grab my camera. Yeah, okay, that one's more depth field. But I just really don't want to do that anymore. I feel like it, the crisp edges are are getting lost and I and I, I want to keep because we did we did the cubes for a reason. So um yeah, let's um what did I want to do? I forget. But let's do this. I want to do some tufts of grass just really quick. Uh scale that down. Like this cool and move this edge up like that duplicate rotate scale put it in the ground a little bit and then same thing over here cool 
scale it in move it around a little bit just so it's something you know oh no cool uh, and then we'll make all these a different green color so this will be like this will be like a little bit of a darker green and then we'll do the same color I believe it's that one maybe not it's that one maybe not <laughs> but we'll just go off of it whatever um, and we'll just darken this one green brighten it yeah but you see we have a nice little grass thing going on here uh, three different colors and then I'm just gonna grab these and then just put them in some various locations like here maybe one way back here move it over cool just enough just so it's not you know super um, super like nothing like it is right now and then one over here and then I'll just go ahead and delete a couple of them from some of the areas there we go all right now um, I really ooh, you know what you know what I think I want to do after I just did that I think I want more than just yeah I do dang it doggone it see now you have your good ideas and then I get upset because they are good ideas and now I want to do more grass than just this because I was trying to get away with just doing like small baby grasses but we're not gonna do that we're gonna do full grasses I'm just trying to like oh we've been going too long now but you know what doesn't matter so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna subdivide this plane um, actually no we're not because I know what I want to do I want to have a different plane so we'll make a new plane and this plane will be like this um, but going over top of I missed a piece of grass hello mr. grass over top and through this uh, plane that we've already created so that's what we're gonna do and then this color is gonna be the same as that one which I believe is nope not that one either uh, this one yeah no that's not it dog on it oh wait it's the same as the shirt isn't it uh, wait where is it I just saw it uh, shirt green no this is darker dark I think I made a separate one it doesn't matter we'll just match it like that yeah you can't even tell yeah it's fine all right cool uh, now for the grass I'm gonna actually make a hair particle system so particle system we're gonna make 10,000 um, we're gonna change the hair length way down thusly um, and then maybe way up actually like this um, and now since the camera doesn't see all of this crud I'm gonna kinda scale this in because we're losing a lot of the hair uh, particles because we're not seeing them so I'm gonna grab these vertices move them in and then move them to the areas where we can actually see the hair particles instead of them being out of frame so kind of silly to have all that when we don't need all of that uh, so we'll just move it over move it over and now we have exactly in the spot that we need in the own and only the spot that we need dang it where's that at there it is uh, only the spots that we need instead of having this gigantic thing that we do not so really weird angle but that's what the camera is seeing so now the grass is much more accumulated in this area I'm going to move this out a little bit because you can see where the grass starts. So move that out. There we go. Um, nice. What I'm going to do is we are going to... Do I want him to be standing in the grass or do I want a little space cut out in the grass? Because you can't see his laces. And I worked hard on laces. I like the laces. Okay. So let's first do the craziness the 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 children i'm gonna go interpolated and i'm only gonna make 10 because that's enough grass that's probably too much grass let's do five instead maybe maybe even less than five let's do just three two do two so we'll do two instead of none because that's still better all right and then we will change the clumping a little bit so we'll clump it at the not the other way we'll clump it at the base a little bit um, and then we will make the shape a little more, eh, a little tiny bit more, uh, together. 
We'll change the kink. Uh, this might be a little radical, so we might have to do this by hand. Uh, eh, spiral might be fine, but I have to change some of these values. And I can never remember which ones to change with with spiral. So we'll, we'll do this. The, we'll do this the 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 easy way instead of the strange way. Let's go simple, and then I'll just change these random sizes, the radius and whatnot. So we can do it ourselves. Um, let's change up the seed, maybe. Yeah, just still a random value, of course. Um, and then we will do where is da, 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 there it is. Um, change up some of these jitterings amounts, um, and we'll go from uh, volume and random because that's always better. Um, and I think that looks uh, pretty good the way that it is. I likey. I like you. We don't really need to do anything else. Um, yeah, but I'm maybe I might want to do like thicker grass. I don't know, but it, it it'd probably be fine the way that it is. Let's just take a look. Uh, and we, you never know until you see. You never know until you see. Oh uh, yeah, wait. That's the rendered rendered. We got to do because I don't really. I like the light, but I don't at the same time. So, because we don't have any shadows. So, if I go ahead and turn my shadows on, let me do it real quick. Turn the shadows on real quick. It's going to look bad because I don't like shadows. Um, but I guess we can just take a look real quick. All those on? No, that one's missing. There we go. So, that looks better. Um, I do like that. That looks nice. I just really like, eh, it doesn't have the ambience this one has, though. So, let me go ahead and grab my camera. Um, yeah, camera, the viewport display, passport, uh, there we go. Okay. Um, I do like the blueness of this, but the grass just looks thinner than it does here, and I don't know why. So let's just, I don't believe that it is, it's just I think you can see through it easier because the, the ambient occlusion isn't, isn't really going the way that it is going uh, in, in material mode. Um, so let's do this. Let's grab the particles, and let's bump it up some more. Let's do more children. Um, 36. Holy bowly. All right. Um, what does 10 look like? 10 probably fine. Now, you can't see his feet at all, but... Uh, bu -bu 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 I think that looks fine. I think that's fine the way that it is. Um, this is the time. Let's go ahead and do some random here. I have to bump up some more stuff now that I did that, though. Um... Let's change the hair length, because I feel like Link would be in taller grass than that. All right. Um, and I think, I think I do want to change the, the, uh, the, I want to put a little circle where he's standing, because I want to be able to see his feet. I do. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the plane, um, and I'm going to uh, go into edit mode here. Turn that on. I'm going to subdivide this. Oh, nope. No, what what edge did I just subdivide by accident? Uh, grab everything first. Grab everything. Subdivide, 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 subdivide. I think that'll be fine. And then we'll just go ahead and go to the top view. And then everywhere he's standing, I'm going to hit C. Actually, I'm going to go to face select mode first. Then hit C and then just kind of brush over top of where he's standing here. Um, the back doesn't really matter too much. So I'm going to get rid of these. Hitting middle mouse button middle mouse button people keep thinking i say mi mini mouse button when i say middle mouse button i don't i don't i, I, don't, I don't know but i got to i got to i got to say that again middle mouse button middle the middle of your mouse uh yeah that looks good i think that's fine and then maybe just that piece yeah and then we will go to the vertex groups we'll call this grass and then assign, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, no, we're going to remove that, actually remove, and then uh, control I, assign, so now it's only where that is, we got to go back to the, um, the uh, particle system, go to density, and we can change that, we can change this here as well, uh, length and clump as well, so now you see he has a little hole where he's standing, which is nice, and we can eh, not really see his feet anymore still, because this, all this is still in the way, so I'm going to... Go back to grass, remove, and now there's a little notch of where he's standing, and it looks kind of strange, so we will remove just a few, 
maybe sign maybe right here a sign nope not that one remove <laughs> a sign I didn't know this good a sign this is a very tedious process a sign I think that looks fine and a sign no not that one dang it I can't do that one that one's just gonna have to sit out and which one is that this one it's in the way yeah all right, that looks good. You can see his feet. You can see everything. I like it. Okay, um, now this green background has to go because I want to do a sky. So we'll do a sky real quick. Hit uh, plane, pull it open, make it big. Um, this will be just a night sky, so we don't have to worry about it looking like too, like, wow, craziness. Um cool and then I'll do a moon with a plane because I want everything to be a cube pull it back about right there we will make this emission and we will make sure oops, we will make sure that it does not um, oh we can't do that anymore okay well we're gonna have to just bud this right up against the wall because I don't want any shadows visible from the moon. Because that doesn't that doesn't make sense. That's stupid. So, like that. Yeah, maybe smaller actually. So, rotate. Pull it out. There we go. Smaller. Cool. Um, and then make it a little brighter. Um, do I even like the moon being here, to be honest with you? I don't. I don't really think that I do. Maybe I can do something like that, though. We can have, ooh, that's kind of cool. We can have, like, maybe, like, a flary thing. And then make it blue. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes. You see the cool things you come up with when you find something you don't like? Oh, that's pretty neat. That's really pretty neat. So I'm just duplicating these all around now. And then maybe this one can be, like, oh, no, no, no. I got I got a five. And then... Darken it maybe a little bit. A little pinkish purpley from there. And then this side, same ordeal. Oh, this is cool. I like this. This is very mystical. All right. Nice. And I think I might want to do some... No, not that. Um, I think I might want to do some volumetrics now. So we're going to split this into two. We're going to go to Shader Editor here. And I'm going to search volume absorption and volume scatter, even though you really just don't need both of them. But I'm used to it, so why not? We're going to mix this into the volume. Uh, wait a minute. That's not right. No, 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 no. I'm not in world. Oh, dang it. I'm just too, I'm too giddy, guys. We need to go to world and then paste them. Um, then this needs to be in volume. I was like, why is there other extra input buttons? <laughs> oh, man, sometimes. All right, uh, now this needs to be approximately 100% size, so that's about right, right there. Change the density. Awesome. Now Link is in the fog, guys. Um, now the lamps. The lamps are killing me because this is an issue with lamps I have quite frequently as to where I can see them when I do volumetric stuff. So i got to kind of move them around, which is fine, but I don't really... I think I want to move that one. So I'll move this one and we'll put a we'll put a little circle there. So it looks like he's looking at like a little fairy or something. I don't know. So there we go. We'll move that. Move it up. And then put it right there. Perfect. And then put that to emission. Bump it up. Scale it up a little bit rather. There we go. That works perfect. So it looks like he's looking at like a fairy or something that's talking to him. I don't know. And now this blue on these is not bright enough anymore. And I want to change the color. And I really know that they're not this color, but I really like the way that looks. So let's just do some of them like that. Let's do a couple of them like that, actually. 
So then we'll change the color of these back to a nice blue. That's fine. I do what I want. It's mine. It's mine, guys. I don't care if there's not there's not little little yellow ones. Actually, there might be yellow ones now. I don't know. They have all kinds of different things in the new Legend of Zelda games. Uh, do I want to do a third color? Maybe green? No. No. Maybe just a different shade of blue. Or a different shade of yellow, rather. Maybe a redder one. No, I don't like that. Purple? That's not really purple. That's like blue. I don't know. We'll just leave it. Put it back to what it was. Um, all right. Nope, not you. Nope. Undo yourself. There you go. Okay. Um, no, the yellow. See, dang it. Now the yellow is, is taking me out of it. It's taking me out of the ambience. So I'm going to do volume scatter color is kind of like an Instagram filter. <laughs> um, I'm going to make sure it's still kind of whitish. And then this is going to be the big color change here. Um, this one will be kind of blue. Perfect. I love it. And you really still can't see the laces I made dog on it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to save this control S. Um, and I want this to be brighter even still. And these still just aren't bright enough because of the fog, the volumetrics we've done. So that's fine. You know what? Dog on it. I think I want to get rid of these fairies altogether. Except for the one. Maybe we'll leave the one. Because that looks kind of nice with him just looking at that one. Or maybe we'll just... Oh my god, I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's get rid of this this white circle that I made. Get rid of that white circle. Get rid of it. Can I grab it? Thank you. Uh, and then, let me actually undo that. I want to just move this big fairy over here. So, this is this is just like me. This is just like me to be doing that that entire time and then just make it just this. This is so like me. Oh, me sometimes, I swear. Okay. Um... There we go. And I want to move because now his eyes don't look like he's looking at it. We're going to move his eyes up. I just uh, grabbed the, the black pupils that we did earlier and just moved them. Cool. Now it looks like he's looking at it. Um, I want to do inside of his eyes. I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier because this is anime-like, I suppose. Move it up. Scale them. But I'm going to scale them on individual origins. Move it up, and we're going to hit plus. We're going to assign a solid white color assign. There we go. Uh, I don't want it to be a mission. I'll just make that um, uh, uh, principal BSDF. Okay. Nice. All righty then. Um, I love this. This is cool. It's very neato. I'm going to save it again, and I think... I think, my friends, I want to do maybe a little bit more grass, maybe a little tiny bit more grass, because we've lost a lot of it now, um, so maybe we'll do just a couple more children's, a couple more children's, I've kind of lost his feet again, but I don't care anymore, um, <laughs> you lose some, you win some, you lose some, if, if you, there was a cool behind the scenes um, video that Marvel did for Ant-Man, and um, the, uh, I believe she was the uh, CG director, I believe it was. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen the video. But they were talking about, she was talking about uh, how the art team, the CG team, did so much for Ant-Man's look in this entire bit that they did underwater when Ant-Man was huge. And most of it got covered up by layers and layers of other things and, and fog and debris and bubbles and everything else. And you didn't even get to see all the beautiful stuff that they did with all the algae and everything else. So things get lost sometimes, but you never know what you're going to do. So just do the best you can. And then if it gets covered, then it gets covered. Um, but but never skimp the legs or anything because, oh, I won't see that. Don't, don't do that because you're just going to put yourself in a rut. I think this looks awesome. I want to scale this down a little bit. Maybe rotate it. Um, I think this looks really cool. I really like the way that it came out. I want to move this blue lamp. If I can grab it. Which one is it? Not that one. That one. 
I want to move this to more above link and I want to move a second one shift D to in front of him right there that looks pretty cool um, we're gonna save this again and that my friends I do believe is going to be it for today's video now um, I said I wanted to add maybe some shine back to a few things. Um, and I think that would be a smart thing to do because, oh my goodness gracious, look, you can see the reflection of Link in the sword. That is so awesome. I'm so glad I just thought about that before I ended today's video. Um, now, this shield is the same material, so it also kind of... Oh, that looks so good too, though. Like, I want to render both of them. Um... If you have this dilemma and you want to render what the material viewport looks like, you can do that easily by making sure all of this is off. Um, now, this needs to be the viewport denoising needs to be turned up. So this is kind of eh, chunky, but we can fix that by turning the render up to maybe a thousand. A thousand. We have a lot of grass anyway, so that's probably a good rule of thumb. Um, now, that looks awesome. I do want to maybe blur it a little bit, just a little bit, because I mean... Nothing's that, nothing, a sword's not going to be that shiny, so that's fine. Um, and then maybe his eyes, I also want to be, eh, maybe not. No, his eyes are fine. The eyes are fine. I'm going overboard now. Maybe a little bit of specular on this. Maybe no metallic on that, but specular. Yeah, 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 we'll do that. And then maybe on the wood, maybe the wood is glossed. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of metallic on there. Yeah, why not? Um, the shirt. Oh, that's the grass. Oh, wait. Ooh, what does the grass look like when it's rendered with a little bit of specular on it? Ooh, that looks kind of nice. Ooh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. See, now, when you do specific things, um, you, th you get an idea. And I have an idea now, unfortunately. Again, um, I want to do this. So what we're going to do is just really quick, I want to grab... How should I do this? We'll just grab some icospheres and then make them make the subdivisions super small you know we can do, do even less than ico icospheres we can do just um cubes we can just do cubes why not um and then i want to have like a l little bit of like starry kind of things back here in the grass so what i'm going to do is something like this and then i'm going to just real quick before i duplicate it out i'm going to emission we're going to a bluish color and then we're going to just do something like this. And it's just so subtle. Um, I think this is going to look kind of cool, but I want to move them up, though, because they're getting caught on. They're getting caught in the back, and they're going behind the, the, the background, and I don't want that. So, uh, yep, we'll move them up. Move them up. And then move them like this. We'll just do like some stuff in the background here and there. Like maybe like fireflies, like blue fireflies or something. I don't know what the heck. But something, something cool. Something mystical. Um, but yeah, these are kind of in the grass over here, which looks kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so this is just like a cool thing to think of. Like if you're... Oh, Cool thing to think of, because I saw the grass, like the the shine. There's a little bit of a shine on the grass, and I was like, "Ooh, that's kind of neat." These look kind of man-made over here, so I want to kind of spread them out. Maybe these over here a little bit too look kind of man-made. All right, and what does it look like? Oh, kind of cool, but I want to change the color. Do this more deeper or darker kind of thing. And then I also want to make sure they're not all the same size because, duh. So I'm going to select a few of them just randomly. And, oh, nope. Randomly. And then just scale them down. And then select a few randomly. And you guessed it. <laughs> just scale them up like that cool um all right so we got some mystical stuff going on back there 
pretty neat stuff. Don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Um, and then I think, ooh, do I want to do maybe layers of that? So maybe we'll just grab as many as we can. So I might want to do another layer of this in front of Link, maybe perhaps. So we just grab. Oh no, we'll grab. Why is it not? What? Huh? Why? Why you do this? Oh, cause I'm in edit mode. Why? Why you do this? Stop. Okay. Uh, B box select. I grab that. No, I would. And we'll just move this up. Maybe some of them right here. Maybe. Maybe. Now these are too bright, of course. Um. Do I want to do like a depth of field thing? I might. I might, even though I said earlier I don't want to. Tides have changed now, my friends. So we're going to do as close to the camera as we can get. We have to scale these, but that's fine. Uh, not individual origins. Medium point. Scale. Where are they at? Scale. And then we'll just. Nope. Scale some more. Oh, man, this is a lot. All right, something like this, I guess, and we'll grab... Nope, stop doing that. Uh, I, I messed up my cursor. I, I, I forget. Oh, man, I've forgotten how to fix the cursor again. Oh, no. How do I, I, I literally have a video on how to fix the case, <laughs> and I don't remember how to fix it right now. My mind's somewhere else right now. Anyway, uh, oh, that's so annoying. Just rotate it and grab it like that. Whatever, it's fine cool there we go okay and then this one grab it move it over perfect yes all right um and then we're gonna go ahead and how do i oh my gosh oh my goodness gracious oh my gosh this is making me feel wait a minute now i'm not i'm not i'm not an imbecile i will remember i will rem oh I, okay wait i remember i remember wait i i think i remember uh yeah, wait, no, no. It was... Oh. It was... It was... Okay. W. Ha ha. Yes. I remember. Ha! Huh? I'm... 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 I'm I, I got it. I got it, guys. I got it. Okay. Um, sweet. So, which is like... Uh, depth of field, camera... Ba, 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 boom. And... That... Is, is too much. Uh, boom. Uh, boom. Maybe it wasn't too much. Maybe that looks good. Yeah, maybe. Who? Perhaps. Perhaps. Do I want to maybe even make these closer? No, I think it was fine before. It's fine before. Yeah. Okay. I think this looks really cool. Now you can barely barely see the um the ones back here but that's fine because i think i want to drop the the, 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 the f-stop make it less blurred there we go that's better i think and then these ones in the in the front they're too much get rid of some of these just the bigger ones like these they're distracting me uh, that one, and maybe that one. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so surprised I'm actually being able to grab these. I haven't missed once. Wow. I thought I was going to be grabbing the grass left and right, but I have not grabbed the grass once. That's pretty neat. Um, I don't, you know what? Dog on it. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, you see how the process goes. You see what goes on. Um, that's it. This video is long, but that's... Ooh, that's so gorgeous. But that's fine. I'm going to render both of these. Oh, that's what I was saying earlier. You can render this by going to uh, View and then Render, Render, uh, uh, Viewport Render Image. And then you can hit this and then it'll render what's in the viewport out. And then you can see it like that in, 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 instead of having to just only be able to get the rendered version um, from Render Viewport Shading. So this is going to take a while because there's too much stuff going on, but... I really, really, really do hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed today's, not really tutorial, but kind of guide on a long form, like I said I wanted to do, um, 
modeling character scene low poly type thing we've never really done something this big on the channel before and it's not even really all that big but i do hope you enjoyed it anyway this take forever to render i'm guess i'm just going to be showing the renders oh there it is the renders uh afterwards but yeah like i said you can you can render it just like this if you really want the material view which i do because it looks nice um the background is gray suspiciously why wait a minute Ooh, ooh. i hate when that happens okay Go back. It just uh, control controls you to undo that because sometimes weird things happen. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go back to make my start frame zero, in frame zero, put me on zero. Um, now the background is gray. Why is this? Why? Oh, I know because the in render viewport shading it looks different, but for material, it's gonna have to be darker than that. And for material, I'm also going to maybe brighten it. I'll brighten it for material mode, and then we will make the background a lighter blue color like this. And then render viewport shading is pretty much exactly the same. I mean, you can you can see you can yeah you can't even tell the difference. Okay, never mind. All right, so for rendered for material viewport shading, this is what's gonna like looks uh, really cute, really cute really nice i like that and then rendered viewport shading looks like that two different complete vibes let me know which one you like below maybe you like the material better maybe you like the rendered better i don't know but yeah so that's gonna be it for today's video really do hope you enjoyed it. let me know if you like the material better or you like the rendered better two totally different vibes um but i do enjoy both of them but i do think my favorite one is the rendered because it just looks so like vibe you all looks really good um but yeah so i'll see you in the next one but until then bye, -bye.